time of Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, in the time of Jesus, he was traveling with some of his companions, traveling with some of the boys. So then they reached an area, bro, and they had the munchies. So they got hungry. And Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam, he collected whatever money they had. They collected whatever money they had. After collecting the money, he chose one of the companions. He says to him, look, you take this money, go into the town and buy us some food. We're hungry. So the man says, yeah, all right, that's no problems. Takes the money, goes into the town. When he goes into the town, he realizes that all the money he could buy was what? Three loaves of bread. That's all he could buy. Now, I want to stop here because every one of us has been at this point in his life. The man looks at it and says, bro, I've only got three loaves of bread. And there must have been about 10 blokes back there waiting to eat. And if they're levels, he had no chance whatsoever, bro. So he's looking at the bread, he's thinking, bro, if I take this back, how much am I going to possibly eat? So what does he do? He eats one then and there. He eats one, he polishes it off and goes back to Jesus with only two loaves of bread. When he goes back to Jesus and he gives him the two loaves of bread, Jesus looks at the bread, alayhi salatu wasalam, looks at the man and he says to him, who ate the third loaf? Shuha, who ate the third loaf? The man's buckling, he's thinking, what the hell? He's thinking, when I ate the third one, I was alone, there was no one there. So now Jesus is asking about the third, so what does he do? He says, bro, eid al Quran, I only bought two. What did he say? He says, bro, wallah, he says, I only bought two. So Jesus doesn't argue with the man, you know. They carry on their journey. Then they reach a destination. The companions that were successful in hunting a deer, they hunted the deer, they killed it, they cooked it, they ate it, until there was nothing left, bones, just a carcass. And then Jesus calls the man over. He sits him down, he says to him, look. And then by the will of Allah, a miracle through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jesus gives life to the animal in front of the man's very eyes. Imagine, it was just bones, and it comes back to life in front of their eyes, and it runs away. So Jesus says to the man, I'm asking you by the one that gave life to this animal. Bro, who ate that third loaf of bread, man? If the guy wasn't feeling pressure before, now he's thinking, yeah, Allah. He's thinking, cuz, I swear I only bought two. You know, sometimes my brothers, we make a mistake in life. And you could have corrected that when you first made the mistake. But because of a lie, uh, because of a lie, because we were put into a corner, we make the situation worse on ourselves. The man could have, back then, he could have said to him, look, well, I got hungry cows and, you know, and I was afraid if I bring the food, there's going to be nothing left. Now, look how deep he's falling. He's seen, he knows very well, bro. The animal came to life in front of him. Anyway, Jesus doesn't argue with the man, they continue on. They eventually reach a river, the river was over flooded. There was no boats to cross the river and they had to get to the other side. So Jesus, Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he, he gathers the companions and by the will of Allah azza wa jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows them to walk on the surface of the water. All of them, imagine all of them as a group. They walk on the surface of the water and then they cross the river and get to the other side. And then Jesus calls the man over. He says, I'm asking you by the one that allowed us to walk on the water, man. Who ate that third loaf of bread? Now, now the man's feeling the heat, bro. He says, honestly, there was only two. They carried on until they reached their final destination. Jesus calls the man over. They sit down on the floor. And Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he gathers together three piles of dirt. Imagine, imagine you're this man. He puts together three piles of dirt, he sits the brother down. And by the will of Allah azza wa jal, he turns the dirt into gold. Then he says to the man, he says, look, I tell you what. He says, one pile is for you. One pile is for me. And the third is for the one that ate that third loaf of bread. The guy, Eid al Quran, I ate the bread. He sees the third loaf. He says, I ate the bread. Allahu Akbar, now there's papers involved, there's gold. The guy's eyes, Bala Jesus, Bala Mabar Shu, Bala. Allahu Akbar, there's gold. So the man, when he sees dunya, he sees gold, he says, Bro, I ate the third loaf. 
Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he says, look, for you, you have all three piles, but you can't join us anymore, man. What does the man say? He says, go, bro, go, look at this fortune that I now have, man. How many of us, wallahi, we've sold our deen for a small price, man? For a small price, we sold our deen. So now the man's kicking back, bro. He's looking at all this dahab, he's looking at all this money. He's thinking, Allahu Akbar, what do I buy first, bro? Do I buy the C63 first? Is it the he didn't know what he's going to buy first. So he's sitting there, he's looking at the gold, he's admiring it. Isa and his companions take off. Shortly after, three thieves come by. When they see the man and three piles of gold, the maths is pretty straightforward, bro. First thing they did is they knocked him off straight away. They killed the men. Three thieves, three piles of gold, halawa. But they too are hungry, man. So one of them says, look, I'll take some money. I'll go to the town. I'll buy some food. We'll have a feed. And then everyone takes his pile of gold and we call it a day. Beautiful, man. He goes to the town, my brothers. And on the way, he starts thinking to himself, you know. He's thinking, how can I get that money, man? And while he's over there buying the food, the two that stayed behind are thinking, how can we take his money? So they planned and plotted, and he planned and plotted. They said when he returns, we'll kill him. They said, what? Well, when he returns, we'll kill him. And we'll split his share in half. When the man reaches the town, he buys the food, he says, bro, 100% they're going to do something to me. So what does he do? He poisons their food. He comes back with the food before he could do anything. They killed him straight away. As he knew, as he planned. <coughs> well, they sat down. They had a feed. <laughs> and little did they know the what? The food was poisoned. Wallahi, shortly after they also died. Now Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, and his companions, they're walking back. They seen their former companion the three thieves and the three piles of gold sitting there untouched. So Isa alayhi salatu wasalam, he looks over to his companions and he says to them, this is hayat al-dunya. He says, this is the life of this world and this is what it does for the one who runs after it, man. That's dunya, my brothers and sisters. Wallahi, you can run and run and gather and collect as much as you want. You're leaving and you're leaving everything behind. Wallahi, you're leaving everything behind. 